Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Whimsy Stamps image called Mr. and Mrs. Teddy Bear. Aren't they cute? I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies that I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I would be happy to get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So let's color. Believe it or not, I didn't outline my image this time. I must have forgot. So if you wanted to do that, you could do a quick outline around your image with um, C0 would be a nice light color for that. But since I didn't do it on my card, I'm not going to do it today on this. Let's start out by coloring our bears. And for that, we're going to use E31, E30, and E50. And I'm going to start with my E31 first. And let's go up here and do the girl's ear. So I'm just going to do a little dab of my E30 one right here along the um, the top of her little ear there. And then I'm going to grab E30 next. And we're going to bring that up here to the top of the crook of her ear. And then I'm going to take my E50 around over here to where it's coming to a point. Okay, and then let's go down here and do her face. So granted, I'm going to start with my E31, and let's do a little bit right along this flower. And I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm just going to do a little uh, small line next to her stuff here. And she's got a little bit of piece of hair right here that I'm going to go down. And then I want this color to come right next to him, and over here and down to her nose. And then I'm going to go with E30, and we want to soften that line, so let's touch down on top of that. And we're going to work our way around to the other side. And then I want this color to also come down this side of her face. Okay, so I don't want to have that much space for my white, so I'm going to go ahead now that I've added a little bit, and I'm going to flick this out here just a little bit more. I'm going to do E50. And I think I'll do another coat of my E30. And then my E50 just to soften those edges. Okay, then let's go up here and do her neck. So I'm going to go with my E31. We're going to go right next to this little flower up here. And then we're going to come down along her chin and over to her arm. And then I'm going to add E30. So I want to brush right on top of that last color. And then I'm going to take my E50 to fill it in. Okay, let's do E31 again. So let's do her hand right here. So I'm going to do right in here around his thumb and down like that. And then I'm going to do E30. And then my E50 to fill it all the way in. 
we're going to do the same thing for her other arm. So I'm going to grab my E31 again. And this little paw over here, is, I'm going to flick away from the edge and out towards the white, but I'm going to go underneath this little flower. And then I'm going to add some E30. So let's go around that flower and then brush this, soften that edge. And then my E50 to fill it in. And then we'll go again with our E31. So let's do a little bit of our E31 over here. I'm going to go underneath of her belly. And then I'm going to go right along the edge, bottom of her foot. Like that. And then let's do along the bottom of this, or the edge of this leg. And then do a little dab right here on the edge of her foot. And underneath of her hand. And then we're going to add E30 next. So I want to soften that edge. And we're just going to brush right along the edge. And soften that. And go over here. I think I'll bring that right across the top of her, his foot, or her foot too. And then I'm going to fill it in with my E50. Okay, and then we're going to do him. So again, I'm going to start with my E31. And let's go ahead and start with his arm here that's holding her hand. So I'm going to do my E31 right next to where she's holding her hand. And we're going to go around with his thumb and up here towards his tie. And then we're going to go with E30. I'm just going to soften that edge and bring it out here. And then our E50 to go over the entire thing. And fill in the rest. And then let's go with E31 again and do the other arm. So we're going to go right next to his tie and then down his elbow or the inside of his arm. And then over here where his hand is touching the tie, I'm going to start and bring this around over here to his elbow. And then we're going to soften that with E30. And then our E50 to fill it in and go over the entire area. And then let's do down here on his leg. So again, I've grabbed E31. And let's do under his arm. And then I'm going to come down around his belly a little bit. And then for this leg, let's go right along there and along the bottom. And then for this leg, let's go underneath his belly and down around his leg. Over to this side. And then we'll go with E30. We're going to soften that and let's bring this color around his belly. And then we're going to bring this color out a little bit. And I'm going to bring this color up over the top of his foot. And same for this side. Let's go around this one. And then I want to go over the top of his foot. Soften this line just a little bit more. <clears throat> and then I want to fill it in with my E50. A 
little bit more and let's soften a little bit on this edge right here. I'm just going to brush over that a second time. A little bit of a line there I'm not liking. Maybe that's better. Okay, and let's look up here and now we'll do his face. So I'm going to start again with my E31 and let's do his ear. And then we're going to bring this color along his ear right here underneath of his hat. And I want to bring it clear across and down around to this line over here and do his neck. And then let's do, let's go ahead and bring this side down on this side too. And let's do a little bit right above this little section of hair there. Then we'll do E30. And let's bring this color in. And we're filling his neck. And I want to bring this color up underneath this muzzle a little bit more. And then we'll take our E50 to fill that rest of that in and go over the entire area. Let's give them a little bit of cheek color and color the inside of our ears and then I think maybe I'll add more color to them. But for the inside of our ears, their ears and the cheeks, I'm going to use R11, R00, and R000. I'm going to start with R11. Let's go ahead and just do him over here first. I'm going to go right along the top edge of his ear. And then I'm going to flick down here like that. And then for her ear, same thing. I'm going to go right along the edge of her ear. And then I'm going to flick just a little bit away from this flower. And then I'm going to add R02 next. Or sorry, R00. And then for him also. And then we want to fill it in with our R triple zero. And I think I'll pink them up just a little bit more. So let's grab our R11 again and do the same thing over again. And then R double zero. And then R triple zero. And then let's give her a little bit of pink on her cheeks. So we're going to add R11 first. And I'm going to do a little rosy dot over here on this side. And then over here we're going to do a little bit right like this. And then I want to soften it with R R00. And then a little bit of our R000 over the top. And I think I'll pink those up just a little bit more. So let's go with R11 again. R double zero. And now let's do I'm gonna do R30, or sorry, E30 on her again. Let's give her a little bit more color. And then E50. Also redo his face just a little bit. So I'm going to grab our, our E30. And 
then E50. All right, I think I'm going to add a little bit more color down here to the rest of their bodies too. So I'm going to start with my E30, and I'm just going to do a quick second coat. Come down along him. I think they need to be a little bit darker. And I actually colored these cute little bears like four or five times changing the colors because I just couldn't decide what color they wanted I wanted them to be. So if you're not sure about these colors or they're not your favorite, you might want to do them on a little piece or stamp them on a, on a scratch one and do them and then decide if this is a color you would like. Because you might want your bears to be different colors. This is E50. Just add a little bit more color to my bears here. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. So now let's do their muzzles and their bellies. So again, we're going to start with um, E30. So let's do her first. So I'm going to do my E30. Right next to her hand, and down like that. And then for him, I want to do my E30 right along here. I'm going to go up next to his tie, and we're going to bring that out like this. And then I'm going to fill it in with my E50. So we're just going to go right across like this, and we're going to fill in this side. Then we're going to go with W1, and we want to go over where we added um, our E30. Only I'm not going to bring it quite as far out because I want to add another color in there. Fill in that top section, and then we'll add W0. And then W double zero all the way across. And then the same for their little noses up here. There's are their muzzles. We're going to go with um, E30. And I'm just going to do a little dab right around the nose. And same for him. Let's go around his nose and then down this little line and then we're going to fill it in with E50 and then we're going to add W1 and then W0 and then our W double zero to fill it all the way in. For their noses, let's use W9, 6, and 3. I'm going to start with my W9, and let's do her first. So I'm going to do a little dab, and I'm going to leave that little dot that's in the middle of their nose white. So I'm going to try to go around that. If you color over it, you can always take your... Um, Uniball white gel pen and redo it or your Sharpie white paint pen and just put it back on there. I'm going to try to be careful. And then I'm going to go with W6. And then him over here. I'm going to go around this dot. And then my W3 to fill it in. Okay, 
Okay, pretty good. All right, since we already have these colors out, let's go ahead and do his hat too. So for that, we're going to use W9, 6, and 3. And then for this little stripe right here, we're going to use W1. So I'm going to grab my W9 first. And let's do this side of his hat. So I'm going to bring this side of his hat up just a little bit past where his hat starts over here. And then for this side, same thing, we're going to come away from this side and I want to bring it just past where the hat starts. And then we're going to add W6. And then W3. I still got a little bit of a line there, so I'm going to go over it a few times, soften all those together. Okay, and I like that. So now let's do the top part of his hat. So again, I'm going to go with my W9, and I'm going to go ahead and just draw a line right along the edge so I'll have a place to set my, my pin. And then let's pull this color right out here. Like that. And I also want to do a little bit on this side. So again, I'm going to draw my line, and then I'm just going to flick in here just a little bit, not too much on this side. And then we'll add W6. And I got a little bit of line there still, so I'm going to bring it out just a little bit more and soften this W9. Um, And then we'll go with W3. And let's go ahead and fill this side in. And I'm going to go over that a couple times to soften those colors all together. And then from this side, let's fix right in here. And then I've got that line right there, so I want to go over it a couple of times. And you can actually brush this way too, and that'll kind of smush all the colors backwards and blend them all together. And then I'm just going to take my W1 and go right down this stripe. So let's do her veil next. For that I'm going to use R00 and R000. I'm going to start with my R00 and I'm just going to do the inside and there's a little spot right here in between flowers that I'm going to color in and say that's a veil. And then I'm going to, and I think I'll do right here too. And then I'm going to color in the inside of her veil. Go around all those leaves. And I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to go back up and add a second coat. That's good. Okay, and then right over here, there's a little spot that's underneath. So I'm going to color the underneath section. And then there's a wrinkle right here. So I'm going to add just a small line right next to that um, edge. And then I'm going to take my R000. And we're going to fill that in. So we're just going to go right up the front. And I didn't worry about those circles. I just colored right over them. And same for up here, we're just going to go right along there and swirl some color. And, whoops. And right here's the inside of our veil again, so let's do a little bit of our R00 right there. I'm going to darken this inside up again. Next, let's do the leaves. For that, we're going to use G07, YG09, and YG41. I'm going to start with my G07, and I'm just going to add a little dab of color to the center at the bottom of each of these little leaves. So we're just going to give them a little swoosh of color. And then we're 
we're going to do our bouquet down here too. It has a few leaves. And there's a leaf over here. that. And then we're going to do YG09 next. So let's add, and I'm just going to leave, add another little dab to the, to my leaves. I'm going to leave a little bit of white so I can add my last color. And then up here on the cute little trellis. And then we're going to fill them in with YG41. And I just swirl it kind of over the entire leaf and swirl over those other two colors and kind of smush them together. And then are down here on our bouquet. For the flowers, the tie, and the hat band, we're going to use R35, 22, and 20. Let's start up here at these flowers with R35. And we're just going to put in a few little dark areas. So I'm going to swirl in the center here. And then I'm going to pick some petals and add some dark. And again, swirl in there. And then let's add some dark. And then I'm going to add some R22. And we want to go right over the top of that last color. And I'm going to soften those lines a little bit. And take up a little bit more space. And then I'm going to go over the entire thing with R20. Alright, let's go down here and do the flowers on her head and in her bouquet. So again, I'm going to go with R35. So let's do these up here first. So I'm just going to give them a little swirl in the center of each of the flowers. And the same for these. And then I'm going to add some R22. So again, let's just swirl some color around on our flower. take our R20 to fill them the rest of the way in. So I'm just going to swirl completely over the entire flower, including the last two colors I put down. And the ones up here in her hair. Alright, so let's go up here and do his hat band next. So I'm going to go with R35 first. And let's bring that color kind of out to even with the W9. Same with this side. And then we'll add R22. And again, we're going to go right kind of where we have left our um, OW6. Forgot what color I used. And then we'll take our R20 to fill it the rest of the way in. And 
I'm going to swirl over the entire thing back and forth a couple times and blend those colors. And then we'll go down here and we'll do his tie. So again, I'm going to go with my R35. And let's do a little dab on each side of the tie and the edges. And down here, let's bring this out because we got a little bit more space. And then bring this side in a little bit. <clears throat> in front of the knot, I'm going to go like this. And for his tie, let's go underneath and then down this side. Like that. And then we're going to add R22. I'm going to go ahead and fill this side in. A little bit to his tie. R to the knot. And then over here, we're going to bring these in here. And then our R20 to go over the entire thing. Lastly, let's give them something to stand on. For that, we're going to use W1, W0, and W00. I'm going to take my W1 first, and let's do a couple little streaks back here, and then underneath of his foot. And I try to go a little bit past um, the foot, not just straight across. And I'm going to bring it down just a little bit, like this. And then same for this side. I want to go underneath the foot. And underneath it prevail. And then I want to bring this color down a little bit. And then I'm going to add W0. W double zero to go over the entire thing. And kind of swoosh all those colors together. And then I'm going to go back with my W1 a second time and just put a little bit more streaks in there. So there is our beautiful Mr. and Mrs. Teddy Bear all colored up. Didn't they turn out cute? I love them. And then again, here is the finished card. So on my finished card, I have added some Stickle Stardust to the flowers up here and these flowers down here. And then did I put some swirly stuff on there? Nope, I didn't even put any sparkles on the swirls here, but that would be really cute. Use your spick of glitter pen to add some sparkles to the to the um the arbor or the trellis here. That would be really pretty. And then this little sentiment set is from, um, I think I got it off the Hero Arts mini um, sentiments set. But I stamped those for you so you don't have to worry about that. Or you can cut out a new flag and stamp whatever you would like on there. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. And if you have a question, leave me a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.